scrappy people it's Tracy Reed here today coming at you with a fun video on how to think outside the box and use your digital scrapbooking supplies for something other than scrapbooking so I have a canvas here it is eight and a half by eleven and I decided to use this quote by Ruth Bader Ginsburg um, about reading to make an iron-on transfer for my reading like tote my library bag uh, we have a couple library bags that we keep one for um, books that we've read and need to take back and one for books that you know we're picking up at the library that kind of thing um, so I had the need to make a quote um, after the notorious RBG died, <gasps> heartbreak, to, um, you know, honor her and add it to my library bag. So what I'm doing is I have dra dragged in a couple of the Constellation stamps and a um, watercolor stamp from the Ex Libris Galaxius mixed media pack. And then I dragged in a galaxy paper, an ex Libris, Libris Galaxius galaxy paper on top of it. And now I am changing my um, font to yellow. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my own particular um, glitter style that I use to create the constellations in this collection. I'm going to use it to make the words faux glittery as well. Obviously, this is a little bit more complicated and um, designer heavy than what you would be doing as a scrapbooker in your program but I'm just you know playing around making something that I really like and so what I'm doing here is I have this eight and a half by eleven canvas because I'm going to be printing out this image on eight and a half by eleven um, iron on transfer paper from Printworks. They sent me a pack that has a set of um, uh, dark transfers and light transfers and full disclosure I initially used the light transfers with this um, particular image and it did not work out so well so then I transferred over to the dark images or the dark transfer paper because the difference between light transfer paper and dark transfer paper is that light transfer paper it like transfers the ink that you used literally to the, the canvas like almost like you were painting it on dark transfer paper is more like a sticker that you iron on to your um, your whatever it is that you're ironing it onto. So it kind of worked out better because you get that whole background of the sticker and it didn't like the light transfer paper, the parts that were really light yellow, like you can see right there, they did not transfer well because what ends up happening is since there's not a lot of ink used in those light areas, what you get is just a non-printed image and you don't get the golden hue uh, because what you end up seeing is just whatever's in the whatever you're ironing your iron on transfer onto and in this case it's a canvas bag so it just ended up looking like white canvas which didn't work out for me very well so I'm playing with some of the stamps from the collection as well as the constellations from the mixed media collection or the mixed media pack and I'm trying to decide how I want this to look. And I decided that I loved that open book, but it was just a little bit too um, wide and flat for that particular corner. So I'm just testing out a few different things, seeing what I want. Um, I really, really love this image, the way that it is as far as like the eight and a half by 11 canvas for a printable, like something that you're going to frame. But for the bag, I felt like I needed a little something different than just a big rectangular image. So in a minute, I'm going to take that uh, paint splotch that I dragged onto the canvas and it's hiding there underneath the paper. I'm going to start using it as an actual paint splotch. <laughs> I'm adding a stroke to this because it wasn't quite getting um, as thick as I needed it to be to stand out in an image like this. So I just added a yellow stroke to it so that it would um, be a little bit thicker lined. 
And I'm going to add one more stamp to this particular image, which is going to be the other book stamp from the collection. And I'm trying to decide, you know, just where everything's going to go, how I want it to look, because I definitely want the constellations to look like, you know, they're floating in the sky, but the actual stamps that look like books stacked up need to have some sort of grounding within the image. So they need to, you know, sit on the words or next to the words. They can't look like they're just floating around because that doesn't make sense the way that the constellation makes sense. So I finally decide that this is, this is the sort of um, layout that I want. I'll adjust things and nudge them around just a little bit more. I'm going to add in some extra um, gold dots from one of the overlays in the mixed media pack. I'm just selecting these big dots here and I'll delete the rest. And then I'm going to duplicate them or duplicate the overlay and do it again. There we go. Just something to add a little bit more oomph over in those corners. Okay, so now I'm going to take these ink splotches and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and then I'm going to duplicate it a couple times so it's a little less see-through. Then I clip my background to this um, paint splotch and it wasn't quite big enough, like it was just funky shaped in a way that it didn't work with my quotes. So I'm just adding another paint splotch to it, duplicating it so that it's thicker again. Now I'm going to resize it so that it fits the canvas better. It doesn't get cut off around the edges. And then you can see down there, sort of missing that RBG signature. So I'm going to add a couple more until the whole thing is nicely included in the whole paint splotch. Cute. So initially my canvas bag that I was going to use, the one that I bought first, was um, almost just slightly larger than an eight and a half by 11. Um, so I initially left it just like this, but when I, um, when I had to go back and buy another canvas bag, it was much larger. So in the final product, you'll see that I actually added some paint splotches to it around the outside edges that you don't see in the actual video. So here are the fabric transfers from Printworks, and the key here is to make sure that you read the directions. It is so important to read the directions. So here are the directions that I am going to look at and read to make sure that I do this right. Now with dark fabric transfers, you don't have to mirror the image, but with light fabric transfers, you have to mirror the image in Photoshop before you print it. So that's something that you have to keep in mind there, but since this goes down like a sticker, you don't have to do that. Now the thing is with these transfers, because they go down like a sticker, any of this white border that I leave around the edges is going to show. It's going to look like a white sticker. So you want to trim around the edges as close as possible to make sure that you get less of that stickery effect. You could send this through your silhouette if you wanted to. I chose not to because I was being lazy. Now I am separating the background from the actual like sort of sticker feeling thing, which you gotta make sure you do carefully. It It is pretty sturdy, but you don't wanna rip it. That would be horrible. So now I'm trimming off that extra white space down here. Then I'm going to center it. And you can see how there's a lot of extra ed around the edges. That's why I decided to add in the extra paint splotches that you will see at the end. And then I put the wax paper, sort of, well it's not wax, it's more like parchment, that comes in the pack to protect the image over the top of it. And then for a full page image like this, they want you to um, iron for a full two minutes. So I'm gonna make sure that it's nice and stuck down. So I am making sure that I do that. Basically, it's just a patience building exercise at this point. Um, as far as the actual product goes, I sent or I was sent these. I'm not getting paid to promote them, but I was sent them to test them out and um, see if I like them, if they're something that I would include in my crafting on a regular basis. And I will say that these are nice quality. I don't know how, about the quality of the light 
fabric transfer because I messed it up, but <laughs> that is what it is. But I really actually thought that these were great quality and I've used a lot of um, iron-on transfers before and these were great. They printed well and everything. I have included a link to these printables in the blog post associated with this video. It is linked in the description box below if you want to download them. If you liked this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Tracy Ann Reed, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.